What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Fresh on TV, and tonight I'll go with my AEW Dynamite review on Hollywood. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys give me a follow on my YouTube channel. Turn on that notification bell when I premiere a brand new video, I'll go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Let's talk about AEW Dynamite. Now, AEW Dynamite was a solid show, and I give it a 5 out of 10. All right, it says, it's it's Wednesday night. You know what that means. The commentators welcome us to the to the La Curious Center as we kick off the pinnacle of sports entertainers. Judas hits. The crowd has a mixed reaction as the entire Ju Jericho Appreciation Society come out in match and matching. We all are purple suits and Jericho is going by the Oracle the Oh, Orko on his ROH nameplate. There's balloons and pizza set up as it looks like the Jericho Appreciation Society pull out all the stops for Jericho. The crowd is absolutely loving it. Now, Angel Parker starts off saying, appreciate, it, appreciate us. We know Philly is the city of losers. The Jericho Appreciation Society is here to give you the gift of celebration and actual championship win as we celebrate the oh, 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 cho, oh, cho, oh, cho, oh, daddy magic now, magic daddy now with a special guest, Lu, Luigi Primo. He's a god of the. He's the god of the pizza from the from a New York City. No pizza for no for anybody. Screams Daddy Magic. Now in a J a Jericho Appreciate Society has the mic, but the crowd draws her out with "We want pizza." She's absolutely furious. But say we we do get to see the greatest ROA champion of all time, referring to Jericho. Now Jericho has the mic and asks if they want pizza. But says they can't have any. But what they can't have is the most important always champion in history, Chris Jericho, the most um, honorable man in AEW. In one week, more people have seen me with this belt than any other because no one knows about it. I'm going to change always, and it's the era of Ring of Jericho. And it starts tonight against Bandido. Um, and sports entertainers beat wrestlers every single time. Jericho introduced Daniel Garcia and says he thinks he is an amazing champion in sports entertainer and has a gift for him. He opens it and it's a purple bucket hat. Daniel Garcia looks completely on loose, a thin use. And Daniel Garcia slowly takes it off and throws it down and knocks out Luigi Primo. He says, that this is enough. It's not what I got into this business for. I have, I have, I have, I have enough and I want, want to tell you something. Chris, I think it's time for me to, and Jericho starts him. He says, I want you to think about this. This is a crossroad and make the right decision. Make the wrong one, I'll take you out. He asks him if he's if he's a sports entertainer on a on a pro wrestler. Dan Garcia stares back at Jericho and as the crowd is chanting Chanting, you're awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Brian Dan I mean I mean Brian Dan Brian Danielson music hits. He comes down to the ring with William Regal and the crowd is chanting yes. Throughout, um, Brian Danielson has a mic and says, Chris, it seems to me you're trying to tell Daniel Garcia what he's supposed to be. Daniel Garcia, I respect you. You can do whatever you want. You can stay with the Jerry Corpichet Society if you want, but come to the BCC. You can you can come with us. Jericho tells him to shut his mouth and how he's trying to approach Daniel Garcia and his own, and he owns him. Daniel Garcia steps up to him now and says, I don't belong to you. 
and I and and I don't gotta do nothing that you tell me to do. We were supposed to be entertaining. If if it what if I pick up this pizza and threw it and threw it in on the ground? Is the is that entertaining? Or toss to the Luigi or tag with Jericho with Justin Roberts? Do you think it will be entertaining if I team with Brian Downson? The crowd comes, you lose. Glue glue comes glue on glue. He says, "Me and Brian Downson versus Sammy versus Sammy Guevara and versus Sammy and Jericho." Daddy Magic interrupts and says, "We are sick of this. You had nothing, and we took you in, and now you want to spit in our face. I knock you out right now." Brian Downson says, "You want to punch me in Philadelphia? Well, I have good news." I was told I can't come out and have a match with anyone with anyone wanting to fight me. And you said that so. The entertaining Daddy Magic versus the heart of pro wrestling, Brian Danielson, right here, right now. So we get the Daddy. So we got Daddy Magic, Matt Minard versus the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Now I must say this was a um um this was a um pretty good match right here. Rigo is on commentary for this match, and I will always love the relationship between him and Escobar. Matt Menard gets Brian Downson in the corner, but gets reversed and take a bunch of vicious kicks and chops and gets shoulder blocked down into the armbar. Brian Downson stops on the arm and gets Matt Menard in the corner. Daddy Magic now with a series of chops, but Brian Downson with an uppercut to the fin. Brian Nelson up top, but now Matt Bernard knocks him off the outside to the outside. And then we go to commercial break. Back from the break, Matt Bernard is in control with a clothesline to Brian Nelson and another standing layer for a two count. Matt Bernard with stones, but Brian Nelson fights through it and powers up. Huge chops now from Brian from Brian um Danielson into a sidekick. Moons are out of the corner and flying for him. Matt Bernard in the corner and Brian Danielson hits a running drop kick. Now the yes kicks just pounding the chest, but Angelo, but Matt Bernard pulls him out. But Angelo pulls him out of pulls him out before the final one. But Brian Danielson wipes out Matt, Matt Bernard and tries to to follow, but gets run into the corner after. After a distraction from Parker, Parker with a big DT on on the floor, but now Brian Nelson on the floor. Daddy Magic with a powerbomb. One two no, and comes Claudio to even up the odds and runs over Parker. He's now literally just carrying him on his shoulders out of the arena. Brian Nelson hits the with a cool knee and locks in the LaBelle lock. And Matt, and Matt Menard has to tap. The winner of the match, Brian Danielson. This was a pretty good match. Brian Danielson celebrates after 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 as the commentators run down the rest of the card for the evening, including Monty versus Jules Robinson. A promo a, a promo video recaps John Monty winning the title last week in the story of Monty's journey and his match against Juice. Okay. Also, MJF speaks next. So we go to commercial break. Promo video recapping the MJF slash Wheeler Yuta promo segment from last week, including the assault on Tony Chavon. Wheeler Yuta storms down and calls out MJF. We have a problem, and it isn't your army or try a cheap shot. Me with the ring because I've been hit by harder and better men, but you have the audacity to put your hands on Tony who done more than you ever will. What better punishment than to come down to fight me in my city? But we all know he likes to hide behind his all groups. Even the microphone and MJL knows what when the bell rings he can't hang with me. Really you the goes on about random Philly stuff until MJF music hits. He cuts the music off and calls Philly. He he calls Philly. He plays 
plays he plays you live in like if you can't afford New York. He runs down Tony and gives a bit of praise to Yuta. But their time but but their time on the independence. However, you made a mistake going toe to toe with Daddy and Daddy had you spank had to spank you. You you say I don't care but you're talk you're taking time away for from the biggest draw in AEW. Yeah, for the biggest draw in AEW. Um you have you have you have much charisma as Joe Frazier who is dead by the way. It's almost like a twenty six years of age. I don't care because I make more money than anyone here. Anyone at home because Wheeler Wheeler into us it says he doesn't care. He just wants to live. He wants to leave him in a pool of blood on Board Street. Bad things, bad things happen in Philly, Philadelphia, and tonight is no exception. Um, he goes after MJF and the Gun Club come out. He pretends to want to wrestle. You don't and says he wants no face. He won't face him until next week. I'm going to. I'm going to the. Press box, watch Moxley be a horrible wrestler and maybe cash in on the Blackpool um, Car- Carco Club and walks off. The Gun Club finishes catch race as they walk out. Okay, that was a good promo. That was a good promo by MJF. And um, yeah, that was a good promo right there by MJF. But anyway, up next is Moxley versus Juice Robbins. Robertson. Okay, so we go to commercial break. Recap video of, of Darby Allen and hypes of Lethal versus Darby Allen. And it, t- and it will be Jay Lethal on his own with no help, it looks like. Okay, so we get the AEW World Championship Eliminator tournament match. John Mosley versus Juice Robinson. Uh, I must say, this match, this this match was fine for what it was. Juice Robinson's music hits. Nice to see him getting a shot through the crowd. It's a bit quiet for him. Wild things. Mosley makes his way out through the crowd and soaks it in. Soaks in the adultation and slips while trying to celebrate in the crowd and was not pleased. He continues to celebrate with the crowd and makes his way slowly down to the ring. Juice Juice Robinson takes him out. Takes him out from behind. Juice Robinson throws Mosley into the barricade, and the bell hasn't even rung yet. Juice Robinson now with a couple of headbutts and throws him into the ring, and we and we are finally underway. John Mosley immediately clotheslines him over the ropes to the outside, and now throws him into the barricade. Snap, suplex by Mosley onto the floor, and slides. It slides in to break the count. We see a shot of MJL booing as Juice Robinson is thrown over the table. Now, John Mossy locks fingers with Juice Robinson and drags him into the ring. Um, both men exchange heavy forearm shots, and Juice Robinson has the short advantage before John kicks. John Mossy kicks his ribs in. Juice Robinson is back. Is back up. And it's now biting Mosley's head. Close lines by Juice Robinson in the corner and proceed to run into a big layer by John Moxley. Juice Robinson avoids a death rider by pushing John Moxley out of the ring and drives him hard into the barricade again. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial and Juice Robinson is busted open at the mouth. And uh, and Oz and Moxley is gushing blood now to both men are back on the outside again as Juice Robinson just pounds away at Moxley's head. This is just a a straight up fight at this point. Snap suplex by Juice Robinson on the outside and break the count. John Moxley is sitting on a chair on the outside as Juice Robinson is just hit buddy Moxley over and over. Juice Robinson with a flip center and John Moxley avoids a juice avoids and Juice Robinson wipes out. Um Moxley with a suicide dive and both men are back in now. 
John Moss and Juice Robinson Exchange, King Kong Larry and King Kong King Kong Larry, but Mossy with the big cutter. Want to know? Mossy transitions into an ankle lock as Juice Robinson scrambles to the ropes in time. John Mossy up top when John Mossy up top with ten punches, but Juice Robinson digs his fingers in the open. One and then sends John Mossy with a huge power bomb. Um, two count Juice Robinson to the to the top row and gets counter with a kick. Juice Robinson his Pope fiction out of nowhere. One two no two point nine count. Juice Robinson can't believe it. He signals for the world world win, but John Mossy hits the regal knee. Stumped by John Mossy in in a cross arm record, but John Mossy and Juice Robinson. Immediately top John Marcy, um and Juice in, immediately tops. So the so the winner of the match John Moxley. This match was fine for what it was. Anyway, Hangman Page music hits as he he says Hangman Page Hangman Page music hits as he comes down to go toe to toe with Moxley. They talk trash and Hangman wants to fight now. Um, MJF interrupts and says, "Ladies, settle down." You aren't fighting each other. You're fighting the lose. You're fighting to lose to me, and I will be the new AEW champion because I am generational talent. Yuta is behind him. Yuta with a with a big right hand and just beat the crap out of MJF. Security comes out, but Yuta fights him off. They eventually drag him away as MJF is laid out in the fans. Um, the commentators run down the main event and introduce bad D do video package showcasing a highlight reel and a, and a bit of history about Ben D do and RH. Commercial break recap of Soraya debuts last week at Grand Slam Dynamite. We're we're gonna to hear from her next. Soraya comes out to the to a massive pop. She decks out in a Bad Dazzle jacket and looks absolutely pumped to be here. I got chills coming out because of you guys. I'm back. The crowd chants, welcome back. And Soraya goes, goes, so you miss me? It's fantastic to be back. I'm dam I'm damaged, but not broken. The reason why I am here is because I create change in this division because I am the revolution. Soraya says she's nervous, but AEW is officially my house, and I'll leave the ring when I'm ready. She introduced all the females of the women's division, led by Tony Storm, Athena, Willow, Night, Night Tango, Tango, Sky Blue, and Madison Rain and asks for a round of applause for them. She says she says she's going to make a change. Firstly, she introduced Tony Storm and says she is finally being used to her potential as the best champion. AEW has, AEW has seen, and I am honored to be in the ring with you. Well, well, we got a shiny new toy here. Britt Baker and to us it says, I don't know if you know, but I am the face of the vision. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in even my neck, and unlike yours, mine can't do it. You you run this place, but half of the people can't pronounce your name. Soraya says, that's cute, but your name rhymes with it. It was bleed out. I could figure it out. Baker runs down. Storm and says she's a victim because last week Storm and Athena broke broke her nose when that's not why we are we are here. She praised Serena Deep and hate her and says once one one misstep from you, Tony will go go to go to here and new. Soraya I'm so, not I'm sorry, Serena D mutes the kiss and she's says tall with the other woman. Soraya says, I have eyes and I have ears. So I talked to Tony Khan and we are we are having a lumberjack match instead of a championship. Soraya leaves the ring to join commentary and the match is happening now. So we get the AEW, AEW Women's World Champion. 
Lumberjack match to Professor Serena D versus Tony Storm. All right, um, I must say, this match, this match was decent. Serena D and Tony Storm start off with some chain wrestling and transitions into the to some nice mat work, and Tony Storm with a quiet two count, with a quick two count into a front headlock. Uh, to a front face lock. Serena D with a headlock on Tony Storm now, but Tony Storm powers out and knocks Serena D out. The Lumberjacks throw her back in immediately. Both women in the corner exchanging machine gun chops, but Storm has the advantage now. Has Serena D up top looking for a back suplex, but Serena D rolls into a cross body. One, two, no. Serena D tosses Tony Storm, Tony Storm to the outside and the face and heels woman stare off. Commercial break. Back from commercial, Tony Storm is up now with a nice cross body on Serena D. One, two, no. Athena throws her in the ring. Throws her in and Storm hits a big release German. M M German miss a miss a hip attack in the corner and Serena Serena D with a roll up for two. Both women exchange roll ups, but Serena D now with a motor motorcycle stretch to Storm. Storm rolls through, but Serena D keeps it locked, keeps it locked in. Serena D has to break the hole after a series of pins. Tony Storm back to the advantage, but Jamie Hader takes out Storm and wipes out Sky Blue. Willow and Jamie fight to the back as back in the ring. Serena D has the serenity lock in. Storm crawling to the ropes as Serena wrenches back on the leg. Britt Baker pulled the pulled the ropes away from Tony Storm and entirely, but she eventually gets still gets there. Serena D setting up for the Queen Suplex. Well, the Queen suplex, but Tony Storm reverses and hits another crossbody, but Serena D rolled through it until another Serenity lock. Tony Storm center of the ring. Um, rolls rolls out and kicks off Serena D and hits a hip attack in the corner. Sneaky jackknife pan by Serena D to count. Star zero one two no. Serena D kick out. Both women are struck staggered in the corner. And Serena deep with a dragon screw on Tony. Tony counters a top rope attempt to into a second rope. Pod driver, holy smokes, one, two, three. The winner of the match and still your AEW women's champion, Tony Storm. This was a decent match. Tony Storm, Tony, I'm sorry, Tony Shawan is in the back with the, the, with the acclaim and Billy Gunn. Your new tag, tag champs have arrived. Next week is National Citizens Daddy, so bring your shorts, your, your shirts and sign, your, your shirts, your signs, and your scissors. On Friday, we have an open contract to defend these titles. Keith Lee walks up and says, Your boys got carry good luck. Billy Gunn has two words for his work. This is me. Lee walks up and they laugh. So we go to commercial break. Back from the break, we see AFO arguing, arguing with pilot with private party, telling them to shape up or get out. They all storm off as Matt Hardy comes up and tells them to quit your deal. I'll be waiting here. Big money, Matt won't let you down. Um, the revolution is tell is televised. Ricky starts music hits and he gets a great ovation from from the Philadelphia crowd. Absolute Ricky starts versus L. Long was Lee song. Ricky immediately hits a big spirit. Ricky with a Rochambeau, and that's all, folks. The winner of the match, Absolute Ricky starts. This was a squash match. The commentators hype a rampage for this Friday, and we cut right to a Jungle Boy slash Christian Cage recap. So we get our ROH World Championship, World Championship match. Ben D. Du versus the Ocho, the, the, o, the OC, the OC, um, ho, Chris Jericho. Um, I must say, this this match right here, 
This 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 was a um I don't know what the, this match has been made event. I'm gonna say this was a uh this was a um pretty good main event right here. Ben D dude comes out to a pretty good ovation. Then Rick Carboni is on commentary for this match and they run down how Ben D don't lose don't lose the bell on his first run, but needed to vacate it. Jericho instead of offering offering the match offering the rematch for tonight, Judas hits again as Jericho makes his way down to the ring. Bat in hand, Jericho soaks up soaks up the crowd reaction as both men are center of the ring. RB Evers is is your official for this match. Both men go both men go for the cold cold but um Jericho flips him off and eats a punch. Jericho responds with a close on and chops. Bandido run Bandudo into the corner. I was sure by Jericho flip out by Bandudo Jericho to the outside and gets hit with a big Sansuke special. Um Bandido celebrates as we go to break. So we go to commercial break. Back from the back from commercial, Jericho is up top, gets caught with a thirst kick. Bandito with a beautiful solid vertical suplex one handed. He gets the crowd to chant with him and still has him up. It's been over a minute. This is this is such an awesome display of strength. And finally Bandito drops him. Jericho is completely beat. Red as Bandito hit heads heads to the top rope. Hits the Eddie Guerrero shimmy and frog splash. One two no. Only a two count as the crowd chants Eddie Eddie. Bandito with four arms, but Jericho reverses a reverses with a cheap shot and a nasty knee strike. Chop in the corner by Jericho, followed by a Larry and sets Bandito on the top looking for a Franken starter, but Bandito versus Yet flies right into a cold breaker. One, two, no. Both men are set up on the apron as Jericho clubs at Bandito in the back of his head, but he fights out of it. Both men exchange forms, but Bandito hits, hits a crazy hurricane on the apron to Jericho. Both men are wiped out as we go to commercial. So we go to commercial break. Back from back from the back from the break and Bandito with a big super kick that staggers Jericho and Bandito is bust open. Jericho tries tries for a top rope maneuver, but Bandito with a sunset flip. Powerbomb one two. No, they speculate he may have broken his nose. Jericho reverses and hits a line saw. Only only a two count though. Jericho with a knee to Bandito's face goes for something, but Bandito rushes into a curve flick bomb. One two no. Bandito sets Chris Jericho up for the X knee, but Jericho catches him in the walls of Jericho. Bandito is de- is dead center of the ring. Bandito is 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 struggling to get to the ropes and barely gets there. Jericho celebrates, thinking he won, then goes back to stomping on Bandito. Um, Jericho with a rope assisted suplex and goes up top. Bandito with a big integrity through both men up top, but Bandito hits an insane moonsault, follow away slam. Bandito um, struggles for the cover, one, two, no. 2.9, Jericho barely gets his arm up. Bandito hits the springboard German one two no. Jericho kicks out. He then pokes Bandito in the eye, but gets hit with the inside cradle. Jericho sweeps the leg and gets the walls. The walls lock in. Bandito can't see and has no choice but to tap another dishonorable win for Chris Jericho. The winner is still your always champion. Yeah, the winner is still your always champion. Always champion, um, Chris Jericho. All right, Jericho is in the ring with Bobby Cruz. Um, he says, "I am going to destroy always." Just that's a ray, that's a ray, Kate. 
desecrate it. Beat every ring of ring of Jericho title holder. October twelfth, Brian Danielson in Toronto. You, me, and ROH World Title. I am going to destroy every ROH commentator, ring announcer, and wrestler. Then, then attacks Bobby Cruz. He holds up the title as the show goes off the air. All right. Um, like I mentioned earlier, AEW was a was a average show, and I give it a five out of ten. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my AEW Dynamite review on highlights, comment down below on what are your thoughts on what are your thoughts on AEW Dynamite. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and um make sure you guys follow my YouTube channel. Hit that red button, turn on post notifications, but turn on that bell for all notifications. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch and Discord down below in the description. And I will be going live on YouTube tomorrow. Um, that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, make sure you guys watch this full video all the way through. But anyway, this your boy, B Boy Fashion on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Keep your crew, keep your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna premiere this video at three o'clock a.m. Eastern time. So I talk to you guys later. I'm out of here. Keep your crew, keep your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here, gang.